I'm very excited about today's lecture because we're going to cover some of the most fundamental ideas in mathematics. I think we've already covered the most fundamental idea. If I had to pick one, I would say it's Pythagoras' theorem. Without Pythagoras' theorem, we'll just have nothing to build on. But now that we have that out of the way in the lecture we didn't record, we're on to uh, the next most important concepts. Of course, it's a silly thing to say. I'm ignoring lots of things like all of geometry that we've been dabbling in, but I'm trying to create dramatic case for what we're going to talk about today. So very, very important fundamental ideas, which uh, I think will include things that you take for granted, but there'll be a couple of questions where you know the answer, but you don't necessarily have the logical bridge from what we've established to that answer. And those logical bridges are very, very important. And two of them have to do with the name of Archimedes, who was just a, a giant of human thought. So um, I find that one of the nice things about doing mathematics is that it gives you a sense of not being lonely. It gives you a sense that you are with Archimedes, that you're talking to Archimedes when you get to see some of his ideas and they're breath, breathtaking ideas. You feel like you're in the room with him. You, I really do have the sense of not being alone. Okay, so that's what we're doing today and, why, and that's why it's so exciting. And really the course is starting today. Everything that we've done until now was really about getting you in the right frame of mind. I want you to forget about coordinates. I kind of took a step back uh, with this homework where I made you suffer with coordinates, a very valuable lesson. I will, will cure that in this course. But really, the world starts without coordinates. It just starts with geometry and space and, and all of those things. That was the purpose of the lectures until now, to put you into that frame of mind where coordinates are an add-on to something that already exists. So today, uh, we actually start discussing the core concepts. And none of these concepts uh, I, can I define. So that's the important message, uh, that the most important concepts that I think we'll all agree what they mean, but we won't be able to say what they mean, but we'll acknowledge that we know what it means, but we can't say what it means. Well, that's math. You know, that's where math starts. Math starts in the middle, and uh, people who are talented go forward. So we're going to go forward. So the concepts are the space, the plane, the straight line, uh, the point, and as far as measures go, length, area, and volume. Okay, I think, do we agree that we all know what these kinds of kind of are? We live in the space. This is a plane. As, how would I define space? Well, maybe I'll define it as something that allows straight lines. Which I think if we were ants on the surface of a sphere, we couldn't say that because when you're an ant and you only live on the surface of a sphere and that's all you know, uh, maybe you're not sure what a straight line is. Or maybe you follow a meridian and you think that it's straight. So we're maybe, we're delusional. If we, if we think we know what straight line means, that I'm able to fit the straight object. Yeah, we don't know what straight means either, but we kind of agree. We can try and say the shortest distance, but then we don't know what distance is. So it's, it's impossible to unwind, and we don't have to unwind it. Trying to unwind all of this is moving backwards. Uh, we have to move forward, and as we move forward, some of the concepts will retroactively and retrospectively uh, be clarified a little bit. Okay, and another concept which will come right up against is uh, infinity. Who's comfortable with infinities? And what infinity is, I'll tell you. Uh, I don't know what infinity is. I just I try to use it and, and then I ask myself, am I comfortable with it? And the answer is always no. Uh, but then I ask myself the follow-up question, well, can I move forward? And with time, the answer becomes yes. You kind of get used to things, uh, to things being uncertain, undefined, unclear, self-contradictory, then profoundly self-contradictory, and yet there is enough beauty that you're able to move forward. So uh, it's 
we have like a whole list of things we're going to talk about, but there's nothing else I can really say about what space is, or what a plane is, or what a straight line is, or what a point is. So let's just go dive straight in and talk about areas. <laughs>